Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to See Mini Mom, I'm so glad that you found me. Welcome to my mom van. I am just sitting right outside of Aldi. I'm about to go in and do some shopping for a party that we are hosting tonight. I need to feed 25 people and I'm gonna try to do that on a budget, so stay tuned. I feel like this is the time of year for that. We're coming into fall and it's just that time when we have people over for like football watching parties and Halloween parties and Thanksgiving and the holidays and stuff. So I thought maybe this would be, you know, helpful or give some ideas for somebody who wants to host. I am trying to stick to a budget of $100. Now, can I feed 25 people dinner for less than $100? Absolutely, yes. But this is not just dinner. This is supposed to be a celebration. We are trying to practice some radical hospitality. So I want to have a soup and salad bar, I think is what I'm going to go for, but have lots of different selection for people. I want to have some kind of snack or hors d'oeuvre type thing. We want to serve some beverages and also have dessert. So I'm going to go, you know, kind of the extra mile with this one and not just do like an extreme budget. But I still feel like $100 to throw a party for 25 people is you know pretty good and will still be kind of challenging so let's just go inside let's uh, see what we can find I kind of have a bit of a plan in my head but there's also some holes that I'm gonna need to fill as I'm shopping so I'll let you know what I come up with what I'm getting and then um, I'll show you what I'm doing what we're making I'm just walking up to get my cart here and I'm wondering do you guys have an Aldi quarter do you have like a quarter that you always keep like in your car or in some special pocket in your purse so that you always have an Aldi quarter because I have a couple of times not been able to procure a quarter and fortunately in the store they just gave me a cart but I just wondered if you have an Aldi quarter I got a really funny meme about that from a friend of mine one time I'll see if I can find it my plan is to make three different kinds of soup and plus all the fixings to go with the soup, whether it be bread or chips or cheese or whatever, and then have like a salad bar so people can build their own salad. So I thought I would pick up those things first and see where we are in the budget and then what we can do for like pre-dinner snacking options and also for dessert. Okay, so I am gonna take a shortcut with the salad dressing. I had planned to make it from scratch and I just decided I don't know that I'm gonna have time to do that and also it would have required a lot of mayonnaise and I don't even like mayonnaise very well so I would be buying like this big jar of mayonnaise for this for these dressing recipes and then it would just sit in my refrigerator um, I am gonna make the balsamic vinaigrette from scratch because it's really easy I mean it's just olive oil and balsamic vinegar and a little bit of Dijon mustard which acts as an emulsifier so that's easy I always have I've made that like a ton on my channel but I'm just gonna get like a regular old bottle of ranch dressing. I thought I would get like a dip, like a ranch dip, and then I would thin it out for dressing and then use the rest of it like on a snack board, but they don't really have anything like that. So I'm just gonna take the shortcut. I'm just gonna buy the ranch dressing. It'll be fine. There's plenty of other really yummy stuff on the uh, salad bar that'll be great. So now I purchased everything that I think I need for soup and salad bar. And I've spent about $55 and some change according to my calculations. <laughs> So I have a little over $40 left to do like hors d'oeuvres, like snacks and dessert, and also something to drink, which will first of all be water, but maybe something else too, like tea or something. Ground beef did finally go up by about 35 cents, about 40 cents here in my Aldi, but here's an interesting thing. Over here they have this one, which is a little bit of a higher fat, um, it's a, a, a 75.25 instead of 85.15, but it's only 4.29 for a pound. So I think I might get that for my taco soup. This is still a good price at my Aldi, and here's the difference in paying for convenience. These blocks are $1.69, they're eight ounces. The already shredded cheese is 3.09 for 12 ounces. Um, so ounce for ounce, you know, it's a better deal for me to get it and shred it myself. Um, I did go ahead and buy the parm already shredded because it's harder to shred, but this doesn't take me very long at all. So I think I'll just pick up blocks of cheese and shred them myself. Okay, I have about $20 left to come up with something for dessert and I thought about doing like cookies and ice cream, but then I thought it's gonna be hard to time. And especially since we're doing like a choose your own adventure style dinner, why don't we just um, stick with that theme? 
and I can get just a few different kinds of cookies, even like ready-made cookie dough, maybe make up a batch of brownies, maybe some seasonal things, just so people could kind of pick and choose as they are ready or if they want to, like what they would like to have for a little sweet treat, because there's a lot of other food that's gonna be out. So people probably won't want like a big heavy dessert. And I don't wanna have to time like something coming out of the oven like hot cookies to put ice cream on. So I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll do like a cookie slash treat smorgasbord and let people pick and choose what they want. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at these cookies. <laughs> These are like their version of an Oreo and they have like jack-o'-lantern faces. So cute. Okay, so I almost picked these up. The salted caramel premium brownie mix. It's $1.69. And it is right next to just the standard chewy fudge brownie mix for 98 cents. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll do the extra thing. We'll get this one. But when I turn it over and I look at it, it only calls for a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of vegetable oil and one egg. And I was like, hmm. I wonder if this is a smaller, you know, portion and it's meant to be baked in an eight by eight baking pan. And these are meant for 13 by nine inch pan. So it's actually a deal that is even worse than I thought. <laughs> um, so I probably will go ahead and just get the chewy fudge brownie mix and maybe I'll add like something from my pantry, like some marshmallows or something like that to kind of jazz those up a little bit. Believe it or not, this all came from Aldi including what's on the back side of the island there for less than a hundred dollars. So let's get started. I got some black seedless grapes because they were out of red ones and the green ones did not look good. A two pound bag of carrots, a three pound bag, I think this is three pounds, it's whatever the sizes that they carry at Aldi, of white onions, two cucumbers, two big packages of romaine hearts, two packages of frozen broccoli and one of fresh, one bag of frozen corn, two bags of bacon bits, and a bag of croutons. Back here, I have one bag of pita chips and one bag of pretzel sticks. I would have preferred the twist, but they didn't have the twist that were just plain. They only had the seasoned kind, and I didn't want that. A package of pepperonis. They were out of the turkey pepperonis, but the original will be fine. Three cans of diced tomatoes. This is the kind that has the basil, garlic, and oregano in it. Just a little bit of that. Two cans of great northern beans. Two cans of the Aldi brand of Rotel. And one can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Two packages of ranch seasoning. Two packages of taco seasoning. I do make this myself at home, which is what I would typically use. But for this video, I wanted to go ahead and purchase it. A package of oyster crackers. A package of the Aldi brand Triscuits two packages of tortilla chips, the maple leaf cream cookies, milk chocolate toffee pretzels, a brownie mix, the specially selected dark chocolate sea salt caramels. And you guys, they had a package, like a stand-up package like that of the milk chocolate ones that was only four and a half ounces. And it was more, it cost more money than this nine ounce package of the dark chocolate ones. So I meant to point that out to you guys, but I forgot to pick up my camera, but I actually pointed that out to another person in the store who was about to buy the other package. And I was like, oh wait, this is a better value. So she thanked me. Two packages of just ready to bake chocolate chip cookie dough, two cartons of Parmesan cheese. I would have preferred just to buy this fresh and shred it myself, but Parm is one of the hardest cheeses to shred. So I went ahead and just bought it already shred because I'm going to use that for a couple of different things. Some of this pepperoni marinara and white cheddar. I'm going to slice this up for the snack board. Some roasted garlic hummus, some spinach dip, a beef summer sausage, which I can slice up for the snack board as well. One block of Monterey Jack and three eight ounce boxes boxes. <laughs> One block of Monterey Jack and three eight ounce blocks of sharp cheddar. The buttermilk ranch, which I already showed you guys and kind of explained what I was thinking where that was concerned. Two cartons of half and half. One, is this a 20 ounce package? Yeah. One 20 ounce package of three cheese tortellini. This was in the refrigerated section. One package of mild Italian sausage and one package of ground beef. Plus two loaves of bread. I almost forgot you guys because I had set this on a different counter as I was setting up the groceries on the island and I forgot to put these two things back. So this is a sourdough loaf and this is a French baguette. So I got these as well and that is also included in my total. So I have my receipt right here and believe it or not, before tax, my total for everything that I showed you guys was $96.05. So $96.05 for everything that I showed you. However, 
Aldi did not quite have everything that I needed. So the other $4 would have gone towards these things, which I already have. Aldi did not have quart size tea bags. And I know I, that I could have used a whole bunch of the small ones, but I already had these at home. This is only about a buck 50 at my Walmart. They also did not have hominy. And that's something that I don't see in a lot of stores all the time. It's something I'm gonna use in my taco soup. You don't have to use this, but I like to, and I had two cans at home. They're about 98 cents at my Walmart. And if you can't find them with the vegetables, like where the corn and stuff is, you might check the Hispanic section, like if they have a Hispanic foods aisle, sometimes I find it there. And the other thing Aldi did not have was navy beans, which again goes in the taco soup. And I could have subbed another small bean, like a black bean, but I decided that I would go ahead and use navy beans. So, okay, now it's actually getting kind of late in the day, so I really need to get something started. It's almost three o'clock and we are going to be welcoming people to the house in about three hours. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get two of my three soups into the crock pot. I have two crock pots that I'm going to be utilizing. The other soup recipe, I'm going to wait until it's closer to when people come because I'm gonna make it on my stove. So let me show you what I'm using, what I'm making, and we'll get started. This is everything that I need to get my dad's taco soup started. This is one of my favorite recipes. It's a family favorite. Sometimes I have to change it up based on what we have. For instance, my dad would use shoe peg corn, which you buy in a can. I sometimes just use this, this regular corn. I am also going to double the recipe essentially except I only have one can of navy beans that's fine and I'm going to use just one pound of ground beef this is a little bit fattier ground beef than what I would normally use so I'm okay with that since I'm only using one pound instead of two and it will add a lot of flavor to the dish since there really is no other fat source in this particular dish so since I'm doubling it I have two packets of ranch seasoning and two packets of taco seasoning two cans of Rotel, two cans of Great Northern Beans, two cans of hominy, one big bag of corn. So this, not, not big, but it's like just a standard 10 ounce bag when I would normally just use one can or two cans if I'm doubling it. And then it does call for about six cups of chicken broth. I don't buy broth anymore because I don't wanna have to store all those cartons and lug them out of the grocery store. So I just buy broth base. So I will use about probably one to one and a half tablespoons of this with my six cups of water. All I have to do is brown this on the stove and then put it in the crock pot along with everything else and it's done. All it has to do is simmer and I'll let that simmer until it's time to serve it. Super easy and it is always a winner. Okay, so I may have overestimated the capacity of this particular crock pot. It's a seven quart crock pot, but that's okay because everything in this soup is already cooked. It's just going to go on low until it's ready to be served so that it can simmer. So it'll be fine. The other soup that I'm going to get going in the crock pot is a sausage tortellini soup. I will leave the recipe linked in the description box below that inspired this, but I am gonna change it up some. So these are the ingredients. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. I'm gonna use about six cups of chicken broth, which again, I'm just gonna use one to two tablespoons of my broth base and six cups of water. About a tablespoon or so of minced garlic or a couple of cloves of minced garlic. An onion, which I will chop up. Some mild Italian sausage, I will brown that before I put it into the crock pot. Three cans of diced tomatoes or one big can plus one small can. And then later on, I will add these things. So I will get this going in the crock pot first and then about 30 minutes before we're ready to serve it, I'm going to come back and add in about a cup of Parmesan cheese. Since I'm doubling this recipe, I'm gonna add one and a half cups of half and half, and also my package of three cheese tortellini. And I'm also going to go ahead and use one of my crock pot liners for this because it has dairy in it. Sometimes it will scald around the edges and make it more difficult to clean my crock pot. And this is an older one. I've been using this one for a long time. It's really on its last leg, though it's probably not gonna last much longer. But if you are from outside the U.S., especially, I feel like it's people who are outside the U.S. who are confused by this. These are slow cooker liners. Um, these are made specifically for the crock pot. This is not just some random plastic bag that I put in my crock pot. It has to be the slow cooker liners. It has to be made specifically for this purpose, but it makes it a lot easier to clean up. And I typically use them whenever I am making stuff that has dairy in it in my crock pot. The other thing that I'm going to throw in here with this tortellini soup is a Parmesan rind or maybe two. This is the end of a wedge of Parmesan. If you buy it in wedge form, the end of it you can't really grate, but I throw them into a bag and put them in the freezer and then I can toss them into a soup like this and it will add a lot of flavor. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this at all. It's just, I have them and I've had them for a while. 
So I thought this would be a good opportunity to use a couple of them. Okay, so two of my soups are underway in the crock pot. The third one I am not making until it gets closer to time. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and make up my brownies. So I'll just make these, I think according to the package directions, I'll let you know if I make any changes. And I'm also going to like clean, wash, chop, prep my veggies, anything that I need for the rest of the night. I probably won't show you guys that because how many times do you need to watch me? <laughs> chop up a cucumber or peel a carrot but i'm going to get that done too and i'll check back with you in a bit so have you guys heard of lunch lady brownies or is that just something we do kind of down here in the south um it's basically a frosted brownie if you haven't heard of that before but i made the brownies according to the package directions and when i looked up lunch lady brownies i was like oh the icing the frosting for this is really really easy it's a quarter cup of butter, quarter cup of milk, quarter cup of cocoa powder, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then three cups of powdered sugar. And I went ahead and added a teaspoon of cinnamon as well. So I'm like frosting the brownies right now just because I had all that stuff and it seemed easy. And I'm gonna let these kind of set up. The great thing about this frosting is it kind of gets like sort of, sort of hard, like it sets. And so it's just this really creamy, rich icing that goes on the top of it. So good. And I got my hand mixer out thinking I would need it to mix up that frosting and I didn't at all. I was just able to mix it by hand with my spatula. So I'm frosting these brownies. I'm gonna let them set up and then it's kind of time to start putting some stuff out and kind of finishing getting ready. We're down to about an hour before people start arriving. Okay, this one is ready for me to add one and a half cups of half and half, which I have here, and then a cup of shredded parm. And then also I'm going to throw my tortellini in here as well. But first I'm gonna fish out those um, Parmesan rinds from in here, and then I'll stir everything else in. And the um, tortellini will cook right in the crock pot and it'll be ready to go in about 20 minutes. This is what I am using to make the last soup. It is a copycat version of the Panera broccoli cheddar. We wanted to have one meatless option. I'm doubling the recipe, and the recipe I'm using is coming from my friend Carrie's website. It's Eating on a Dime, and I will be sure to leave it linked in the description box below. But um, it's something that I don't need to put together until right when people are coming in because you basically saute the onion, and then you make a roux with the butter and the flour, and then you add... Um, um, chicken broth, which again, I'm just going to use my broth base to make that half and half and broccoli, season it with salt and pepper. You let that simmer for a little while until it's cooked. And then um, you add in some shredded cheddar cheese at the end. Okay, you guys, all of the guests have gone home and it is the end of the night and I am tired. It went really well. I'm glad that we did it. Everything tasted wonderful. Um, everybody raved about the soups. I have a lot of the taco soup left. I could have gotten by with just making one crock pot of that, but the tortellini soup and the broccoli cheddar soup, they're gone. In fact, that broccoli cheddar soup was really, really good. It was very rich. I mean, obviously using a lot of half and half, it's going to be that way, um, but it was good. So I'm very pleased with that. I hope this was um, helpful and gave you some ideas. The one area that I that ended up putting me over budget was I ended up deciding at the last minute that I was going to use paper goods, disposable bowls, plates, and utensils. I had thought that I would use real plates and utensils, but honestly, it's been a long day and I've been on my feet and working and prepping and shopping and cooking for this all day long. And I have to be up at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow to take Ruthie to a swim meet and to volunteer all day at the swim meet. So I figured that I would thank myself for not having a whole bunch of dishes to do here at the end of the night. Um, that's definitely true. So <laughs> I hope this was entertaining, helpful, or you know, gave some ideas. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to check in with another video very soon. Bye. It is the next day. It is early Saturday morning and I'm about to head out the door to a swim meet, but I'm realizing that I never baked the cookies. <laughs> I intentionally did not make these up in the afternoon because I thought I would pop them in the oven as everybody was arriving and then they would have warm cookies for dessert and I just never did, but it was a pretty successful night. And all in all, I mean, you know, these will get eaten. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs>